The Belgian bankers pretended that they didn't know that they had to froze the interest earnings generated by this capital. More than that, these earnings were uh, quietly taken off the accounts and disappeared. And as far as we can tell, the amount in question is about 2.8 billion euro billion euros. This amount was just simply stolen from the Libyan people. Welcome, welcome again to another episode of WSXM. Hello, thanks for watching. Thanks for returning. My name is Teflon for those of you who are new. So the Russian Federation gave a laid out um a clear path of how um the Western countries and the and um the the European Union how they stood by and robbed Libya of billions of dollars and he laid out how would he got this information. So let's take a listen to it and then we're gonna dissect it. As we know, in 2011, the Libyan state was uh, destroyed. The country had sanctions um, levied against it. And the Belgian fund, Euroclear, today, it still holds 15 billion euros, which belongs to the Libyan Investment Authority. As became clear recently, thanks to a journalist investigations, for six years, supposedly by mistake, the Belgian bankers pretended that they didn't know that they had to froze the interest earnings generated by this capital. More than that, these earnings were uh, quietly taken off the accounts and disappeared. And as far as we can tell, the amount in question is about 2.8 billion euro billion euros. This amount was just simply stolen from the Libyan people. The leadership of the Libyan Investment Authority intends to seek justice in courts, and we hope very much that they will be able to get justice, even though uh, the fact that stealing of um, assets have recently become a legitimized practice by Western states. Um, let me just pause it for a minute. Did you hear how much money they 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 freeze fifteen point something billion, and they all the interest was stolen, and they act as if they don't know. And this is this is not something new. We knew the only, the reason why they had destroyed Libya was because of the amount of gold Gaddafi had in 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 the reserve, and they came together and take him out of that. That was nothing not, nothing to do with no. He's a dictator, and he's this and that. It was solely about money financial gain. Anyway, let's continue. We would like to recall here that these funds were blocked not so as to punish anyone, but to safeguard them. This is the main goal of the Council here, as far as we're concerned, is to keep the Libyan amounts at the current turbulent stage to make sure that in future they're used for the benefit of the Libyan people, as we have stated in this document on this, uh, by, issued by the Security Council. Mr. President, I would like to, in conclusion, say that um, given the critical role that Ansmil is to play in Libyan settlement, all of the issues that we've mentioned today are only worsened in, in a situation when we don't have a, a new special representative for Libya. What we need here is a consequential figure who has authorities in, in in, in Libyan parties, and at the same time equidistant, which does, will not have its own agenda and can build a respectful dialogue with all actors. It is only under these conditions that the special representative will be able to effectively accompany the national dialogue. It's important to make sure that this person's initiatives are trusted by the Libyans, and we call on the Secretary General to intensify efforts looking for the worthy candidate which would meet all of these criteria and then would have the support of all members of the Security Council. Let's pause there for a minute. This is what um, I'm talking about. P Professor P. Lolumba said something to this effect. And, if, and um, I'm not going to hear on Julius Malema said that we hate what looked like us. President Gaddafi ran Libya beautifully. Their country had free education, free health care, free um, home. Everybody was everybody got a home. If you get married, they get a, um, $5,000. And every sale of oil they get a percentage of the profit. And he have one of the biggest water um for um the water line um project ever. And the people of Libya was happy and were living good until what they go and listen to the white man and turn against their own president and now they are they, they cannot see peace for the past 12, 11 to 12 years in Libya. This is the reason why I said we must stop listen to colonizers and their their idea of democracy and stick to our own presidents, the ones who are actually doing good, like President Gaddafi. And this is one of the reasons why they took him out because they, they did not want Libya to replicate on the continent by what accomplishing what President Gaddafi accomplished. One of the 
and he has one of the, 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 the most gold in the world in the reserve. Hence, the, people, the same people who now turn against him are now saying, no, they're sorry they turn against their own country. But they're late because they listen to the white man and their propaganda. Anyway, let's continue. We do hope that the transition period will not be too long. And we wish Ms. Khoury to go through this in a commendable way. And we confirm that we're interested in the closest possible cooperation with Ansmil in New York and in Tripoli. Mr. President, I would also like to react to those who today try to use the issue of uh, the violations by my country of uh, sanctions regime provisions in Libya. I would like to recall here that the traditionally friendly cooperation between Russia and Libya is conducted whilst taking into account all of the international obligations and is in line with special resolutions of Security Council. Using internal differences in Libya, um, you will not be able to use them so as to sow discord between us us and our partners. But it would be much more interesting instead of that to hear from our distinguished American colleague information about the activities in Libya of the private military company Amentum. Um, some, we have some information about that from uh, their website. And according to the website, they're also working in Somalia and Yemen. According to the Libyan reporters, Amentum has, has intensified activities in Tripoli. And that is indeed a topic for the sanctions committee to consider. But our American colleagues who think themselves the masters of the world will probably not allow the experts to investigate that issue. I thank you for for your attention and this is so true the americans will never allow any, any investigation because they're the ones who destabilize african countries by sending mercenaries there in all over the african continent this is not something new and this is what i can understand with some of our african presidents we have proof of how america france and the entire european union think towards african countries we see what they did to libya we see what they, we see that what they are trying to do with President Abraham Chowdhury. We have seen what they're doing to President um um the father's name um the first Ghanaian president. We see that one of what they, and, um um the, book, the president before Abraham Chowdhury um Sankara. We have seen what they have done to presidents who work for the country. They as they assassinate them. We see how they destabilize African countries to for their own personal gain. We see how much money they steal from these African countries. But yet, people are saying, oh, the European Union and America gave millions of dollars in, in aid money to African countries. Yes, they do, but they steal billions and trillions of dollars over decades. Trillions, not even billions. They are stealing trillions of dollars from African countries over the past 10 years, let's say. So they little measly, 10 15 mil billion dollars is not is trump change to what they steal so that's why they can afford to give back because they steal so much and it's proven even they will not listen to the russians because what people they pay the russian as this evil empire so we know that work and you know the americans control the bbc the, the all the major networks um in the world so they can manipulate and send out false narrative and false um, not, not false narrative. They're sending out, um, like, um, yeah, false narrative on African countries so that to keep them under pressure. Because look, they don't aid our no African country army, well, ex excluding Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger, and Morocco, can actually buy weapons from no other country because they are banned from buying weapons. They don't. African armies cannot um upgrade themselves because what well, they make sure they don't because they, they want to manipulate and control every african country yes hence why you see when they say they came in or oh, they have base they come to aid in terror attacks or they came to do this is all a scam to keep these armies and these presidents under wraps to make sure that they do not acquire any new weapons because african army sucks when it comes down to weapons there's no advanced weaponry not even bullets they give to the African leader, uh, African um, armies. They have to find their own bullets. And they give them all machine guns and all this and nothing new. You notice it. It's always a peace mission with them. I wouldn't come out to African countries. So this shows we have evidence. So now, for instance, President Abraham Chori is doing wonders in acquiring weapons from Russia, China, more, um, Turkey, and um, who again, and the Moroccans. They actually now upgrading their military by getting 
armor piercing vehicles, armored vehicles, over a couple hundred, couple hundred armor vehicles. I'll attack helicopters, Apache helicopters, attack drones. They have attack drones they're getting now, a, 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 um, a couple dozen of them, which is great. A few Apache helicopters, a few fighter jets, and the Americans are in the process of blocking. In the process, they block a sail from Brazil to Burkina Faso, because they already pay for it and they block it from, for warplanes. To show that they do not have no interest in saving any African country, but to steal their resources, freeze our currency, freeze um the money and use it as um um as excuse that um they are um for these countries are um what's the word they are colluding with terror with with, with um with certain groups and they are are uh, they will use the, the LGBTQ um movement to to seize and sanction African countries as well, which is what they are doing currently. They're, everything they're doing um, at every level is to make sure the African continent, does, African continent does not grow. What is that? Does, even with that, all of this, we are still seeing where African countries are now actually stepping out of the darkness and into the light and doing their own thing, kicking them out, getting rid of them, stop using the IMF and the World Bank. That's another thing. The, IMF, the World Bank is another tool they use to cripple African economies. So anyway, let me know what you think about what this Russian. The Russians are saying about the um the Libya situation and, and stealing all these billions of dollars and seizing these funds and then it disappears and they because they don't know where it gone to. So let me know what you think about this in the comments section. But always you don't know, tell a friend, like, comment, share, and subscribe.